Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Rich Bion here, and today we're reading Pokemon Battle with the Ultra Beats. Well, this is not a handmade book. It's made by Pokemon. So, oh, and accepted by Sanama Whitewell. And there are two contexts. The first one is an Ultra Urian Rescue. And the second one is a Buzzwall Battle. And this is the first part we're just going to be reading for today. Story 1, an Ultra Urgent Rescue. If you enjoyed today's video, Please make sure you smash that like button, and if you're new, please subscribe and click on notifications so you won't miss any videos. As always, a comment down below. And that said, let's begin. <clears throat> the Ultra Foundation is the most important salary for the research on Ultra Beast. And... The Ultra Wormholes in Alola, but it was also the scene of a terrible accident four years ago. Lily, the daughter of Lucimi, I'm sorry, <clears throat> let me try again. L L Lily, the daughter of Lucimi, the president of the Elzer Foundation, was attacked by an Ultra Beast. Luckily, so the ally came to the rescue. I own it to the ally. The ally. But is it just a painful memory for Lily? Lucy is still haunted by the room that she should have done something to protect her daughter. I can't forgive myself. The person responsible for opening the wormhole and summoning the Ultra Beast was Baba, a cowboy scientist of the Elder Foundation. He came out a secret for years, but when the truth came out and a shame because he was accepted, the only way to reclaim the horn that is to capture one of those ultra pieces that Lucy me always dreamed of that they'll see <laughs> so we kept so we yeah, hatched it a plan that began that with capturing Ash's friend Nebby. Can you sense my experiments, Nebby? He brought the mysterious, but the mighty Pokemon to his laboratory in the Ouster Foundation. My only resource to obtain the Professor Burnett machine, and that, Nebby as well. <laughs> Baba uses Nebby's ultra energy to do something unthinkable. Finally, the Ultra Wormhole. The pathway opening between our worlds and the world of Ultra Beast. Luckily, Ash and his pals arrived just in time to catch Faba in the tank. <gasps> Something's coming out of it! It's you, B01! Simeon! Oh, I won of the success, summoning forth an Ultra Beast. Ultra Beasts are ultra powerful, but this one faced someone's strong trainer in Pokemon. Clefairy, dazzling clean. <sighs> Beep! All right. 
break the bell line. You did a slash. <sighs> so bear on. Wow. Quick, Pikachu, Thunderbolt, let's go. Pikachu! But you be a one Sipia was unstoppable. Pika! It drifted down to snag some of its prey. If you want to take her, you're gonna have to go through me! Just when it looked like you be a one Sipia was going to grab Gladion. His mother pushed him arm's way. Mother? The older beast takes her instead. Trapped inside the belly of the older beast, Musumi is taken back to its world, and the worm, or the extra war home, closes. But five up doing you this. It's all Lucy's fault. No mind. I'm innocent. <laughs> I've gotta I've got to see my mother. I'll come too. I'll help you out. Sorry, you dragged it. Sorry, you got dragged into this. But this is a family matter. You from here. And I'll, do you understand? But Gladion! Professor Burnett, about reopening the Ultra Wormhole. Okay. Professor Burnett knew the herb machine was damaged, even if it gets fixed. No guardian. No guarantee that Ultra Warm Hole can be unstable. <clears throat> oh, sorry, wrong voice. <laughs> <clears throat> Even if it gets fixed, there's no guarantee the old world can be stable. We need to find another way. Just then. Sorry, the camera just keeps blurring out. Just then, a bright burst is out of nappy. Pika? Huh? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, nappy got really small. It's completely unmobilized. I wonder if Lily's mom would know why Nebby changed his shape like this. Yes. Perhaps, but remember, she was in trust Nebby to your care for a reason. Who knows? His mother's gonna be going through, right? Through right now? I certainly can't figure out a way to deal with this. In the meantime, I think it would be best to return to your island. Lily, there is really nothing we else we can do right now. So, Ash, Lily, and Gladio left out their foundation lab and head back to Mele Mele Island. See you tomorrow at the Pokemon See you at the Pokemon School tomorrow. Well, Master Ash, please be careful on your way home. But Lily had other plans that evening. She was prepared to rescue her mother. She was the only one. I know where it's possible to open an ultra wormhole. It is an extremely dangerous place. I'm going alone. I haven't. To love our mother, too. I won't let you go by yourself.
take me with you. All right. Take what you will need in your and fit it within your backpack. In the middle of the night, Lily and her brother set on us set out on Sebelai to find their mother. The next morning at school, Lily's classmates wonder where she was. Ash told them about the strange night at the Elder Foundation. Lily's mom was actually kidnapped? Tell me this is just a joke. Kidnapped by an ultra beast? You showed them Nebby. Nebby got really small. <laughs> the professor at Lily's butler, which his name is Huff, <clears throat> Aim into the classroom. She's not here. Oh, it seems that Miss Lily and Master Gladiator disappeared from the manor house. Uh, okay. I sh suspect Lily and Gladiator left to find an ultra world to rescue her, their mother. They didn't know what he didn't know where else he went. They went. But Akana of Melemele Island might. Let's go see a lot. Right away. I'll go to you. Me too. Voicing three characters is very hard. <clears throat> and Akala Ash told the Kahuna about the the Lucid Beast capture of Lily and Gladio disappearance. <clears throat> it seems there happens to be an ancient legend that held down from down the one island Kahuna to the next. It's called the Legend of Sogaleo. Oh, and if you don't know Sogaleo, here's the information. Okay, here's the information of So Sogaleo. Sogaleo, type psychic and steel. It is said to live in another world. The intense light it radiates from the surface of its body can make the darkest of nights light up like midday. This Pokemon is said to be a male evolution of Cosmog. At the activation of its third eye, it departs for another world. It's a Pokemon legendary. Yes, it even has its own evolutionary form. So let's get back to the story. I saw Lego Sogaleo in my dream. In my dream, Sogaleo Luniana said, asked me to take care of Nebby. After climbing a bunch of stairs, there was a sun and a moon pattern. Really? <laughs> the first thing that coming in that in mind from your world words is the altar of the sun. Though a long time ago. The battle between Alola's Island's Guardians and the Ultra Beast took their place in the altar of the Sunday. Uh, Lost Legend said that Sogaleo tore open the sky and appeared from the tear. That sounds like an Ultra Wormhole! <laughs> We have to go to the altar of the sunny. Yeah. Meanwhile, Lily and Gladion had the same idea. So the alt. <clears throat> so the altar of the sunny is ahead. That's right. The legendary Pokemon Sogaleo is there, at least in what it, the legend says. Meanwhile, I arrive. Lily tries to. Come Find the ancient city. Rowlet, Litton, and Poppy are statues. Mm. I get it. 
I suppose to move each of the Pokemon statues the correct type. Mm. <laughs> hey, Lily, what do you think you're doing? The door won't open unless I solve the puzzle, right? Gladio walked into the grand door and pushed the symbol push. It seems to me that moving those statues is a problem. In the future, you should be careful with anything that looks suspicious. I guess so. Come with me. Glenion? How are you supposed to know so much about this place anyways? The foundation place database from Mom and the Professor Burnett. They both traveled here. Sabelli, now jump! Whoa! So Lily and Gladio find themselves in the dark room. They see the... The altar of the sun just might be up ahead. Why lie? Ah! They're Jungle Leo and Harmon Lego. Let's take a look at the Pokedex for the information. Jang Mo O, Type Dragon. It expresses its feelings by smacking its scales. Metallic sounds echo through the tall mountains where Jang Mo lives. They live in mountains where no trace of humans can be detected. Jang Mo grow little by little as they battle one another. Hakamo O, type dragon and fighting. It leaps at its prey with a courageous shout. Its scaly punches tear its opponents to shreds. It sheds and regrows its scales on a continuous basis. The scales become harder and sharper each time they're regrown. Back to the story. Yeah, now those are really legendary guardians. They're, they're big. Yes, they're not going to let us through. <gasps> the ally! Lily the Lola Vulpix was ready too. Suddenly, a giant Pokemon appears. <gasps> that body is covered with scales. That body covers scales? A Pokemon, both a dragon and a It's Komodo! Pokedex time! Hakam Kamo O, type dragon and fighting. When it spots enemies, it threatens them by jingling the scales on its tail. Weak opponents will crack and flee in panic. Its rigid scales function as offense and defense. In the past, its scales were processed and used to make weapons and other commodities. Back to the story again. It's huge. Maybe it's the altered... There's Tolum Pokemon! Zavali! Charge board! Snowy Power Stop! Be e Zavali approaches Tolum Komodo. Zubal, I use cross crawl. <laughs> Suddenly, with all of its might, but Komodo was unmoved. It's tough. Snowy and I will create a path together. Use power snow, but this time aim towards the ground. An 
Spicy Floor Games, Gladion, a Sylvia, a Super Speed, and to slide over the Komodo. This is the path to our victory! Dragony type! Claw! Can't be Pizza Berry type! The Mon! Clock Light! But a fairy type attack can slash through a dragon type skills. Zabali, do multi attack. Let's go! Zabali, surprisingly, Komodo with a direct attack. <laughs> the giant Komodo was left unable to battle. Great job, Zabali. Thank you for your help. Snowy too. With all that simply, we're off the altar of the sunny. Let's go! But they didn't get too far before they saw they weren't alone. What are you all doing here? What were you saying? We want to help rescue your mom. <laughs> I already told you. It, the family should deal with this. But Gladion, Gladion, in Alola, people share sorts of stuff, right? And if that's true, that means you share your family with that stuff and that's too. We'll do everything together. But I, I think we should have a better chance to rescuing if we all go. Gladion saw that she was right. Thank you for your help. All right, let's look to Soga Leo. Let's do it. We're Lily's brother. Right. And we're gonna stop here because my throat is almost gonna kill me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new, please subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. As always, comment down below. And, before I end the video, I have to find a good bookmark. Perfect. Until next time, my friends. Adios. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here are the bloopers in this video. Had the same idea. The altar of the sunny is up ahead. That's right! The legendary Pokemon Sogaleo is there! At least, that's what the legend says. Oh, whoops. Oh my. I mixed up the voices. Oh my. Wait, did I mix them? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Now I mixed them up.